Hi. So, I've been asking people, you, beautiful souls and spirits, um, to create. I think I know, in my perspective, that creation, creativity, is one of the very quintessentially beautiful forms of love and self-love we can give to ourselves and others. What better thing than to trust in our intuition? and in our imagination enough to manifest it from our dreams into something someone can feel, touch, taste, hear, look at. That's so cool. It's beautiful. And then when you've put it out there, you have done the impossible. Creativity, creation. I have this on my foot, but it's a modest mouse tattoo. Someone here asked me about it. And it's building something out of nothing, right? Creativity, magic. So, Wonky Tonk's been around for a while, right? And at first, Wonky Tonk was, well, a thousand different things, but she was my superhero to help Jasmine not want to die every moment and hide in a corner away from the world. Put on boots, some glitter, sing some songs about food additives, and meet some people. At least half the time was being spent away from the darkness and in the light, creating. But through that, Wonky Tonk is in the gray. What is it? I gotta pull this up right now. John Prine has a thousand Majillion quotes that are applicable, memorable, beautiful, simple, poignant, funny, dense. He, in talking about his music, he said, I never fit in with straight country. I never really fit in with rock and roll. I've always been somewhere in between all of this stuff. And gosh. That isn't the definition of wonky, I don't know what is. I've had a really hard time in the music industry because, well, a lot of reasons. But one is in publicity and in genre. People don't know how to classify wonk, and because they can't classify it, They don't understand it, and thus it goes to the wayside. I've been accused of not caring about my craft enough or else I would change so people would understand. But I believe that songs are all alive, they're voices from all over space and time, and I am just been chosen to try to give some of them the best life possible. How would I compromise that? Not, not for me. It could be easy to make something someone understands. Easily. But in all of this time, I had to redefine what music meant to me why I was creating music, what I am here for in this world, and stop beating myself up when someone didn't understand. 
not my fault. It's not their fault. But all the stuff in between. I can be this. What is that? It's vulnerability. It's holding space. It's process. It's authenticity. It's everything in the middle of the beginning and the end. Creation. And so with Lessons and Lovers, I really want to create help hold space for the world to create, to remember self-love, intuition, imagination, and try it out. Give it a spin. And thus, it's moving away from music. Well, music is the vehicle, but music world is not what understands this. It is people, just people trying to get through life. It's the process. And so, with this record, I attempted to put it out with music publicists and to fit all of their formats or their understanding, I had to strip meaning and essence from what the songs are. The record is called Lessons and Lovers because at first I thought it was lessons, not lovers. So I kept using love as a hard lesson. Because everyone around you, me, is a mirror of you, me. Me, you, we. What I fell in love with in other people was that which I was needing to love about myself. And thus, I kept adapting this mantra of every time something real terrible or great happened. I would start to feel the emotion and get myself swept up like on a raft and whitewater rafting, you know, fresh and cold water. I would go, mm, 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 wait a minute, what's the lesson? Why is this happening? Not to break it down and take the magic or the pain or diminish the greatness of it, but to understand fully what it's there for. Anywho, big long rant saying. I would love, instead of the music publicists for the music world, reviewing the music as music in the music criteria box. In this time of quarantine, when the world has slowed down around you, if I could send you this record, it's not grand, or, it's beautiful, but it's not like this audaciously life-changing thing, but the intent that I put into every moment of it, you sh you'll feel. And my wish is this. Instead of no depression, some blog reviewing music as a favor, I would love you to listen to the record and then create what is inspiring you. Make a review of a record or song through a creation. There's already been a casserole, a smoothie, a movie, a compilation of performances, a short story, it could be a game, a made up word and a definition, a photo, a drawing, a painting, a dance, a sound, anything and everything. There are two rules. One is, please do not share the link because the album has not gone live yet. Not until April 24th, 2020. 
Second rule, most important rule. Have fun. Whatever you create, the process of it, let it fill your soul and remind you why you are alive. Um, sorry that was a big long rant. I really look forward to healing, hearing and feeling and seeing all of the magic inside of you that you let into the world. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for showing up in your life. Thank you for choosing to breathe, to be kind, to act with your heart. Thank you. I'll see you on the flip side. Signing off from my wonky shack at the Incubator.